I'm in the YouTube studios, and this is part of the CBGB set. It's real, and the reminiscing about this puts me back in a place of time in 74, 75, when it just started out. You know, just looking at the walls and the stickers of the bands, that's how it was then. That's how you would uh, advertise your group. You had Blondie, Talking Heads, Richard Hell, Television, The Ramones, obviously. This was 74, 75, 76. The heyday of CBGBs was from 75 to 82, 83. So we used CBGBs basically also as a rehearsal space. But eventually we all got tight because of how many times the bands did play there. And each time you do play live, you learn things. And the stage uh, basically was uh, this kind of size. We were very grateful to have a place like this because no one else wanted us. <laughs> there was no uh, doors in the toilets. Uh, there is now in the hallway which is great. It smells a lot better. It doesn't have dog <laughs> on the floor. Hilly owned the dog and he never walked it. So uh, it went anywhere it wanted to. And uh, there were a few occasions where I stepped in it and I was wondering why was I sliding? We all experienced it that there, so I wasn't the only one. It's unfortunate the place closed down, but I think it had a great run. And uh, like most clubs, they do close, but uh, it definitely made a lasting impression.